What's up ladies and gents and welcome back to another episode on the Atune server. So, it's been a while but look at that. Oh yeah, I've been busy. Um, cleaning the pyramid up. We're about halfway done. Like this is halfway line. 150 blocks in that direction. There's no more nether ceiling and the full 300 blocks lengths. So, yeah, just gotta rip off this and then the ceiling is gone and obviously do this side as well, but I already got um, most of the TNT for it. I had, um, yeah, a lot of time I've caned the cup past couple days. That's why there was no video. I'm really busy at the moment, but yeah. So, and also, check this out. Kabloom. It's done. It has been completed. Um, these are all the spawning pets. There's now soul sand and half slabs a spawning platform because soul sand is not a full block high it's like 0.8 or something and then 0.5 and that creates a gap where tiny slimes can fit through because yeah it's it's really important to get rid of them and this is a way you can get them out of your wiring then all these are piston pushers bringing the mobs into the center and over here we have um two double piston extenders, tripwire activated, pushing over blazes. Right? So we've got one drop shoot for normal mobs and with the skellies and whatnot they just drop and die. And then blazes get pushed over and end up in this crusher airlock thing. You see the tripwire and land, land on it. And then first the um, glass blocks extend, close the chute and then the solid blocks extend and suffocate them down to one hit and all this wiring I got from um, the whatchamacallit the Visa Ripper from the JL guys I downloaded the map and tried to kinda copy it over um, worked out quite good so yeah and these two lines is just um, reset lines I'll connect them later whenever we know how to do this you know we're gonna put a uh, sorting system in storage room and make it all fancy after we have done the perimeter because right now the farm is not that great um, you can see they are all one hit and I just have some hoppers below going oh, oops, uh, into uh, two chests gathering the stuff and I uh, had one so far, one with a skeleton Scotland, I made two skullcrackers looting unbreaking. We can use them later on and repair them for cheap. So yeah, this is basically it. Um, the mechanics work really good. We can't see it working at the moment because, yeah, there's no pyramid. It takes forever until something spawns in there. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you it's done. We just need to work on the uh, pyramid a little bit more. So, now, um, plan for the episode. Well, we, um, we need spawn, right? Um, Reggie wanted to do it. Let me, let me turn down this a little bit. Reggie wanted to make spawn happen, make it look good, but, um, he doesn't have time. He's busy in real life, moving and whatnot, so he kind of passed over the project and I, um, took it. Let me drink. Man, my throat is killing me. I don't know. But yeah, um, I took on the project. I was already working over there and we will check it out in a second. But first off, I will go home because yeah, we need to grab a lot of resources to bring over there. And then we will try today make something out of spawn and uh, yeah, I'll meet you in base. Alrighty, so we are at base and uh, look at this. It's taking shape. We're getting there. Phil did a lot of work putting down water and the trees and whatnot. I don't know what this is, but <laughs> oh, we'll find out. Still missing no walls, but yeah, it's taking shape. Oop. And um, he said we should take a look behind the house because he's doing something there. So yeah, let's just hop on over there really quick. And then, uh, yeah, I've loaded up my inventory with leaves because then we're heading over to spawn. And he's there already, doing something. Doom to doom. Uh, let's just take the front door, I guess. And behind. 
behind. Let's go here. But yeah, um, let's talk a bit. Oh, what's this? We're done talking. Oh, shit. Done talking. <laughs> what is he doing? Nice little lookout, lookout thingy dingy. Worker shake, probably. Oh, look at that. He's. Ah. He has a pool of water. How do we get up there? Nope. We can't. But what is this? Giant squid tank? <laughs> oh, it's all. The walls are all done. I guess he's gonna dry it out and build a dome or something. I don't know. But yeah. We will see. So, I was about to talk to you guys. Um. Busy, whatnot. You know that I said I rejoined the army and I did the aptitude check and blah blah, right? Um, they messed up. I got a letter like a week ago and when I roughly translate it, it says, Hello, Mr. Lord Aimcheck, ruler of the world, slayer of the noobs. Um, roughly translated though. Uh, we are sorry to tell you that the aptitude check you made uh, was not the right one. We mixed you up with another guy with the same name that uh, applied for a different different job basically um, and we have to do different checks because yeah he just doesn't need to be as sport, sporty or whatever you want to call it as I have to be and whatnot so yeah I gotta go there again um, next week on Tuesday and Wednesday? Or Wednesday and Thursday, I don't know, it's two days. Gotta go there, do the spot check again, do sit-ups, do push-ups, do like sprinting and blah. I don't know, I'm training like a, like a madman. I'm all exhausted every day, but that's fine. I need to train hard to do it. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to tell you that. I, it's unbelievable they mixed me up with some other guy and that's just stupid man really stupid you get like a crap load of numbers and IDs and whatnot and they still mix you up it's stupid but yeah alright so uh, headed off to spawn yeah look at the nice track Phil made um, even though when pigmen spawn on the tracks they will fall off and don't come back up and we can still hop on the side one and then choop, just jump back on so that's good that's really good and um, yeah we're approaching spawn so plan now plan something out and then put a shop there Shh, you heard that? I whistled again I'm trying to not do that but yeah I don't know why I'm whistling Dunk. so here we are yeah I built this thing temporary little little dome thing here in the nether um, just because I got tired of gas shooting and we will connect up all the portals or oh, probably I have to do it <laughs> but yeah um, look at this tell me what you think I'm liking it but said it looks like Christmas in here because of the colors yeah yeah maybe okay so are you ready ba -bam, here we are welcome to spawn um, I've spent a lot of time already over here terraforming, getting the walls up and uh, making the center part work out. I'm really liking it. And right now I'm working on the roof. For now it's gold, but um, people don't really like it, so we gotta take it down again. Maybe you have another idea what we can do here. Um, I wanted to have that huge bulky roof that looks really expensive and whatnot. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe you have another idea for another block because the roof would take over 35 stacks of gold blocks and I just don't have that. That's all I got. But yeah, here we are. Um, maxed out circle. Uh, we can't go bigger because there's butt space over there's the mountain and Momo space and whatnot. And there's the ocean. So this is basically it. And yeah, Phil is already working over there. Um, he said he wants to work on the 
shopping no not shopping the uh, farming district he's building like a farmhouse barn whatever um, we will see where all these farms should go and cow and sheep and whatnot and cactus and lally loo you know that so um, yeah that's the remainings I haven't taken down anything without permissions I took down every building we don't need anymore that's you know left and I took down Momo's cactus farm he gave me permission and now I'm just waiting for Wopsy to take down his farms or I don't know maybe I will um, I've given them a couple days to answer so oh whoop, guy don't run in front of me yeah uh, next time use your uh, <laughs> check uh, so well now stop rambling around farm living let's do shopping right here right what you think about that mm -hmm. so I've brought over a lot of leaves because I'm lacking leaves um what did I want to do that's the question um we have this pyramid here basically these uh, you know piece of pizza and uh, we need to bring in like I don't know, 10 shops maybe? So, there should be enough space here. What's this hole do? Oh, Enderman probably. So, how do we lay this out? Um, I'm just thinking about, you know, where to put, put walkways. So, maybe half? I don't know. Um, have half of the shops on this side and half of the shops on this side basically and then have a walkway going like this you know through here like that um, I'm not sure I have to talk to Phil what he's doing over there because my first idea was to kinda um, cap this off right here so we have a center point and then we could have <coughs> the shops facing in that direction and in this direction so we have a walkway in the middle but I'm not sure what he's doing so uh, yeah enough of rambling around let me get uh, set of down grab some materials and then we'll work on the shop so um, I'll be right back yes I got a plan woohoo no um well maybe I know <laughs> I've done stuff wise uh, just got you know got a little outer ring of the center ring ringy ring uh, go and get some you know, just some bushes, some grass, got some hidden lighting in there somewhere. Um, you know, just like this. Maybe I'll put carpets at top and some different flowers and we'll have trees around and whatnot. But yeah, don't plan ahead too far, just just do it. Um, also, I'm not gonna lay out like a walkway or whatever. We will just see, you know, what people build. Maybe we get zigzag or I don't know. But, alright, I just, <laughs> I just, uh, didn't know what to do to uh, build my shop, but now I think I think I got something, got something going. Um, general size of my shop. I want two shops or maybe one. We we will see how it works out. But um, maybe this big. Yeah. Then come over to here, right to the set border, like that. Maybe over to here, and then go back like this and like that yes come over here a little bit and then uh, a bit more here something like this that's what I want oh no actually I don't want that uh, let's do it more like this this maybe makes more sense to me Uh, yeah, more like that, like this. That's what I want. You come in, got your little counter table guy, um, taking the monies, and then got a big chest away with item frames and whatnot. Yeah, this probably works out. So, all right, dimensions. I want. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
Let me see. Let's, let's get started. We'll use quartz, maybe? Yes, quartz. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Have a double? No. Mm, ah. I like three white doors, but it looks stupid if you put three doors next to each other. Um, <laughs> what are we going to do with that? Nothing. We will just shift this over by one, like so, like a so, and have the doors right there. Yep, that's it. We're going to do this. And then it comes around here. Very good. Like so. And then I want... Uh, how do I want this? I want kind of... Uh, do I have... I just brought a couple different windows. I want it to go like this. Right? All the way. No, not all the way. Shit. No sick touch. <laughs> and then same. And again. Right? Like this. And then I want it to come down. Uh, let's see, like a show, right? And then hit it up here. Something like this. Maybe that looks good. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, like a show. And then have another another row on top. Yeah, probably not the right color, and I will use. Looks like I should use um. Paints, right? Paints would look better, I guess. Then we can bring this over. Have the door right there. Yes, indeed. Very good. Mm, then this side, we need... We need this side to be kinda... I don't know. Uh, we need something on this side to make it look good. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe we want... No, the counter guy is going to sit here. So maybe this side is going to be closed off. Then we got the windows coming down like that. Probably over here in the corner. Something like this. Bring this out further to come to the corner. And then this is going to shape like... Um, how to explain. It's going to go up like this, right? Um, something like this, right? So we have it kind of shaped that curve. I like that. I'm like that. And then over here, I don't know if we get a neighbor or what, but um, yeah, the chests need a solid wall, so the chests go on this wall and on this wall. And maybe I'll figure out how to put a window on this side. But yeah, let me work a little bit on this, and um, let's check. Let's check what Phil is doing over there. Yeah, he's still working on it. So for everybody on the server, I have declared this and that one over there as shopping district. So um, you are very welcome to come here and build shops and put it wherever you want, which size, which size you want. Uh, yeah, please don't make a huge one or an ugly one, but, um, <laughs> alright, so I work on this and then uh, I come back on. Alrighty, look at that. Uh -huh. We good. And Phil is also working on there. Looking good, looking good. Um, but yeah, so and this is it. Um, I'm not sure about that side. Maybe we get a neighbor so we don't have to worry about it. But yeah, and this is it. Um, it's not done yet so if you have any help because I'm not really happy with it um I don't know I'll change it around get it give it more shape it's it's really looking weird at the moment but yeah I had it all quartz first but then I decided no that's too wide looks like a hospital so I put up this cyan clay thing and it um same goes on this side like it comes up here goes all around and then comes back down on the back side there and I've changed the glass to cyan paints and yeah it's looking okay but ah, nah. gotta do a few adjustments here and there but let's go inside ha -ha. 
looks very clean um, but that's what I would like to have my shop in Ooh, sorry, uh, my mouse <laughs> what I would like to have my shop in real life as well so yeah it's okay we got the payment chest here and then um, below all these is like glowstone hidden lighting and payment chest and got a nice little orchid um, necessary stuff and then all the things we sell and glass roof just because it's mob proof um, so yeah alright what are we selling we are selling all the things to make you happy uh, happy camper no we're selling all the things I'm able to get from villagers and my farms so for example um, diamond gear I get it from my villagers for emeralds if I trade so I'm selling it for about half the price um, like helmet instead of three you pay uh, five you pay three boots two chests pants sword pick eggs and hoe I'm not selling shovels because it, well it would be stupid <laughs> um, half a diamond you can't pay then I'm selling stacks for three diamonds each um, ink sacks redstone blocks for now and glowstone one stack of diamond quartz and clay uh, one diamond each item. I've put ender chests for now and there. I'm not sure. And uh, well, I'll add more, but that was all I could fit in. Like I don't know, I ran three times, I guess. Then um, you could also suggest things I should sell with price or whatnot. And yeah, then uh, two diamonds each. These three chests are basically enchantments. Two diamonds each is the um, the armor enchants. You don't really need that often, but good to have. Three diamonds each is the protection and the feather falling, and then five diamonds each is wizard skulls, obviously for one skull, not for four, uh, and enchanting tables also, and all the good enchants: sharpness five, looting three books, power five books, infinity books, lure three, unbreaking three, lacrosse three, fortune three, efficiency five, and silk touch. And I will add more stuff to this, but that's, you know, for now, um, we are open. Woohoo! People can buy stuff. And yeah, I gotta modify some things here and there, but that's it for now. But the most important change I'm gonna make now is due to me having this shop, all my farms are not free to use anymore. People, listen up. Not free to use. I will get you. I will hunt you down. I will kill you and your family. And I'll slap your character that you fall off your chair in real life. So, alright. <laughs> Very important. You have to buy access rights to my farms. Either one time usage or lifetime access. One time usage in diamonds. Iron farms, three diamonds. Witch farm, five diamonds. Wither farm, ten diamonds. Lifetime access is 20, 40, and 64 diamonds. Alright. This rule applies to everyone except me and Phil. Because we are the guys that build it, right? And uh, also, if you help me build the farm, for example, well, the witch farm, no one helped me, so blah, blah, uh, bad luck. The iron farm, Alex helped me kind of do it, so if he wants to uh, buy a lifetime access, he can give me like 10 diamonds and we're good. But witch farm, everybody has to pay in the wizard farm. You still have the opinion to help me. So if you want to dig a pyramid and save up on 64 diamonds, go there and do it. If not, leave your diamonds in here and be happy all right so <laughs> enough of talking that's it for this episode um, I hope you enjoyed it guys leave suggestions for spawn what we should do here for for my shop for whatever just you know just tell me about your life maybe I don't know. <laughs> so um, yeah I hope you enjoyed see you next time take care bye bye